our mind is naturally enchanted by qualities. Wherever we see qualities, the mind is drawn. Oh, such a wonderful person. Oh, so kind-hearted, so helping. Now you are drawn, right? And God is the abode of infinite qualities. So when God is the repository of innumerable divine enchanting qualities, then why is our mind not drawn to him? Why is Chit Chor not able to steal our Chit? Because there is a deficiency of vitamin C. Deficiency of Chintan, contemplation. We have not thought enough about his qualities. If we repeatedly bring them to our mind, he is like this, he is mine, the mind will naturally be attached. Now, somebody says, Swamiji, that image of Radha Krishna in the temple, I just love it. Can I meditate on it? Sure. Somebody says that image of Sri Krishna in the painting in my friend's house is very enchanting. Can I meditate on it? Sure. But make one correction. Meditate on the living God. In other words, let him come out of the image. Let him come out of the deity. The deity is the basis. And you bring God out from there. He's talking, he's walking, his hands and feet are moving. After all, God is not insentient. He is supremely sentient. So with the basis of the deity, basis of the picture, you engage in your devotion, meditating on the Supreme Lord in naturality. He is coming to me, I am coming to him. Then you will never get bored. And if your meditation is that the Lord just stands with his four hands holding the Shank Chakra Gada Padma and he practically doesn't do anything, then you will say, God is very boring. My little child is more interesting. The mind will go there. Sadhana doesn't have to be boring. The Lord is the ocean of bliss. Enliven your sadhana. He has all varieties of rasas, Saukumarya, Saushilya, Saurasya, Rup Madhuri, Murli Madhuri, Leela Madhuri. Utilize all that. So we have done the first step now. You have his image in front. Further, you can even meditate upon his pastimes. He is in Vrindavan. He is playing with his friends. I am watching that divine pastime. See, to take the mind to God, you utilize his name and the image but that's also not enough the mind wants activity so meditate on his pastimes the pastimes of the lord are so enchanting when i do a bhagavad sapta or a ram katha people are listened they love the pastimes so the mind naturally goes there right and after that Meditate on the qualities, the virtues of God. He is the ocean of bliss. He is my eternal father. He is my soul beloved. Bring these qualities to your mind again and again and again. How did you get attached to the world? You brought the worldly thing to the mind again and again. Now do the reverse. Repeat this thought, he alone is mine. Nowadays, neurology has got a branch called neuroplasticity. 
neuroplasticity says that your brain is not definitive by repeatedly thinking in a particular way you can create neural channels in the brain and then those thoughts will come easily to you but this concept of neuroplasticity was given 5000 years ago by Lord Krishna to Uddhav in the Srimad Bhagavat. He said, Vishayan dhyaya taschittam vishayeshu vishajjate mamanusmara taschittam ayeva pravriliyate. Dhyayato, Sri Krishna is saying the same thing. You repeatedly thought there is happiness in the world and the mind became attached there. Now, repeatedly think, my happiness is in God. He is my eternal relative. When you repeatedly think, the mind will become attached there. 